Hey, yo, foreigner, you crazy for this okay, one. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, that thing I'm jab riding when I'm left hooking. Fiends said they love me cause they know I keep that sack moving. Sad to say, but this is the life that I have grown in. I had to hustle, skipping class, man, I was true in. I can flip some packs and teach you how to do it. This the real deal. Better watch your back cause people will kill. Kill Bill, kill switch on the Glock. Yeah, this the real, real. And people spin around them blocks just like a Ferris wheel. But that's enough of that. Let me tell you about my life and where I grew up at. I grew up in the south of Topeka. Then I moved to the east in the streets and I ain't fucking with neither. I ain't the type to go with kill or go and sit on that. Hey, what's going on, Bucket Discussions family? It's Big Mike back at your neck with another reaction video, man. Luis Reese Zamet, the Kansas City Chiefs, new X Factor, new secret weapon, man. As a Kansas City Chiefs fan, back to back. Hold on. Hold on. I'm tired of I'm tired of niggas acting like they don't know for real. Damn it. I'm tired of y'all acting like y'all don't know, man. Back to back. Yeah, dig me. We have the Kansas City Chiefs, man. Obviously, we know we need help at wide receiver. We need help. We don't really need help, but it'll it'll be nice to have a new running back, man. Not a new running back, because shout out Isaiah Pacheco. Let me get that right. Some more depth at running back. Because we lost, we lost uh some depth, man. This offseason. And then also, we got one of our receivers, man. He's in trouble. Rashid Rice. Man, there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff going on and swirling around about that case. We don't know if Rashid Rice was driving the car. Allegedly. Actually, it's not allegedly. Some of his guys was racing. We don't know if Rashid was in one of the cars racing. But they're in Dallas and they hit somebody. You feel me? Because they're, they're racing on, on, a, on the freeway or whatever. So, he's, he's in trouble for that. We don't know if he's going to get suspended. Hopefully not. Um, I'm glad everybody's safe and okay with that situation, man. But we could use some help on offense. And if there's anybody that could really do something with a real project and a Luis Reese Zamet, a rugby player, it would be Andy Reid. It wouldn't be Pat Mahomes. I would trust those guys to, to really do something, man. But with that being said, I have no knowledge. I don't know how this guy plays. I don't know how he looks. But I heard he was pretty good. So we're going to go ahead and check him out. Um, without further ado, let's hop into this reaction right Let's get it. Hey, don't bake me. My list is a little dry. It's big lip palms. Y'all know nothing about that. Okay, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. My fault, my fault. I'm talking, I'm chatting. Off oh, Ripley looking tough, though. He looking tough. What a start it's been to this season. And mind y'all, this guy right here is 6'3", 209, 23 years old. Damn, did the Chiefs, did we, did, did we make a draft pick really early? You feel me? And, and he runs a 4'4". Four, four. Don't forget about that. A 4'4". Four, four. Out the door. <laughs> Let's get it, man. Hey, and if you want to rock number 14, it's open. Looks like such a simple finish off the back of it. But just look at this. He's Rugby's such a tough sport, bro. His right foot and it's perfectly weighted. Charges back round. Like you could drop you could drop the ball, kick it, and catch it and run it out. That's crazy. Oh, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This nigga put a little move on bro ass. I like it. Huh? Now I know I'm being I know I'm being a very goofy right now and joking around about it, but I honestly I really don't know what to expect with this younger right here, man. He's 23. Um, I don't know how rugby's gonna translate to the NFL. I don't even know if there's any any players that play rugby in the NFL right now. So we'll see. But like I said, if there's anybody that can do something with a guy like this, a raw talent, it would be Andy Reid and it would be Patrick Mahomes, the best quarterback in the league. Best player in the league, actually. Get that right. Let's go, Reese. Let's go, Reese. Make a play, Reese. Make a, make a play, Reese. Make a play, Reese. I ain't gonna lie. This is, this is kind of tripping me out because, like, everything's set up like a soccer match. But, like, the field, the scoreboard. But, like, they're running. But I'm confused. This is this is confusing, but it's far at the same time. I'll just say that. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Get busy. Get busy. Damn, he moving though. Hold on. Hold on. He moving 
though. He not moving? <laughs> he not moving though? Yeah, he, that's crazy. That's crazy, man. And mind you, 6'3 in the NFL is it, a large player. You feel me? You're either going to be, because he's going to be playing either running back or wide receiver. So he would be a huge running back, but he also would be a huge wide receiver. So uh, I don't know where they're going to use him. I really think most likely it's going to be special teams. Since the NFL, if you guys have been paying attention, they've been changing a lot of rules this offseason. They recently just made the kickoff more safer, I guess. And it's not going to be as much like head-on collision. Like I guess they moved. So both teams are going to be 10 yards away, and then they're going to kick the ball off. And they made it hella, like, it's, it's hella different, man. It's hella different. We're going to have to react to the, the rule changes over there, man. But they basically changed the rules to the point to where the offense is going to have an easier time returning, basically. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I like this. I like this. But yeah, man, I'm thinking he's probably gonna be a, a, a special teams player right now. So we'll see. Oh, let me, let me, let me right my bad, my bad. Got a little excited. Okay. <laughs> Boy, he's fast, though. I'm not even gassing right now. He really is fast. Chris Harris was there. Well, Harris just about to get it off. <laughs> hey, hey. Hey, Reese, you want to play uh, DB? You want to play DB? We'll get you a spot, man. We just lost uh, Legeria Sneed, man, so we'll definitely get you a spot. My father keep messing with the camera. There we go. There we go. He's fast, bro. And he's young too. That's a good thing about he's young, man. Oh, he's fast though. Oh my goodness. Cause y'all gotta remember when the Chiefs drafted Tyreek Hill. I probably even me. I remember when they first drafted Tyreek Hill and they got rid of one of my favorite players, Anthony Thomas. I'm like, bro, who, who is Tyreek Hill, bro? Who is he? You don't even know who bro is. But they was like, no, nah, he's gonna be, he's gonna be one of our wide receivers. I'm like, okay. But he started off on special teams. Was not known as a good receiver at all. He was just kind of a project. Now, I'm not giving Andy Reid credit for making who he is because Tyreek Hill is hella talented. You feel me? But I think Andy Reid. Even Tyreek Hill might admit this. Andy Reid had a, a huge role. Oh my goodness, this thing is tough. He's tough. He's tough. Hold on. Let me get that, nephew. He's tough. I kind of want to play rugby now, but this looks fun. This looks fun, bro. I'm not going to lie. He's tough. Like, I feel like I'm getting my hopes up though because I don't want to put too much gas on it because like it seems like we always have like project type players on the Chiefs and they never end up panning out really. Like our last, oh my, bro, he's fast. Like I'm, he's fast. This nigga moving. But like we always like our last project player that was really getting gassed a lot was uh, Justin Ross from Clemson. I watched him play freshman year at Clemson in a championship game, and, like, everybody's, like, hanging on to that one season that he had. The man's injury prone. He's never on the field. And then, like, when he is on the field, he's not really contributing at all. So it's just like, like, we're hype. Oh, he's going he's gonna to go crazy. He's going to return to that freshman year uh, form with Pat Mahomes. No, he's not. You guys, give it up. So, yeah, I'm not trying to get my hopes up too much, man, but... 6'3", 209, though, man, 23 years old. I feel like that is something to be excited about, man. And he's a rugby player. Like, I want to see what he can do, man. I want to see. Honestly, I just want to see how it translates to the NFL. Because even if he wasn't on the Chiefs, I would be captain. <laughs> they out there hitting without pads, too.
Hastings on to 12 trees. Zebra, terrific offload. Because when I got the alert on my phone, though, they was like, the Chiefs are signing a rugby superstar, a rugby star, whatever he is. Because I don't watch rugby, so I never heard of this dude. But I'm like, who is this? I don't never heard of him. discoveries full. But then I see that signed them to a three-year contract. I was like, yeah, all that should be like a one-year type of situation, but three-year contract. I'm excited to see what he can do. Oh, that's it. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. All right, man, I'm going to catch you guys on the next reaction. Peace. Don't go like I'm Conan, kind of a buff hands. Switch the flow like it was broken. I'm on the road, man. Making plays just like DeRozan. I shoot my shot, and that shit wetter than the ocean. I brag a lot, but with the wind and come the boat saying I made a lot from them apartments that I sold in. Make it up to college, so them streets where he enrolled. And I know I'm a scholar from the moments that I was exposed in.